With less of a bang than a whimper, the Beatles imploded on the 10th of April 1970, with a simple press release effectively announcing Paul McCartney was leaving the band. But it wasn't the end of their careers. They all became successful solo artists. But Paul pulled the biggest surprise. Rejecting the glitz, glamour and luxuries that go along with being a global superstar, he swapped the private jet for a van. And joining him in the van was his new band, which he called Wings. Henry McCulloch was Wings' guitar player. For him, it was a dream job. I knew it was going to be a great gig. I think I know guitar players would have chopped a finger off to get that gig, you know. The band, including Paul's wife Linda on keyboards, rehearsed for months, culminating in pre-tour sessions in London. What a great band. I mean, he's not going to have a bunch of fools around him, Paul McCartney, I can tell you. You had to know your onions, as the man says. Now, you were all established musicians, but Linda wasn't. Was that difficult for you? It was said very quickly, she's the woman I love, she's in the band and that's it, you know. She learned her part well enough to go and play it. She did a great job, she really did. The band's set was a Beatles free zone and consisted of wing songs plus rock and roll classics. to play to. McCartney decided to go back to basics. The band, his family and even his dogs climbed into a van and toured the nation's universities to ask if they could play secret, unpublicised gigs. First stop, the East Midlands. The van pulled up here at Nottingham University on the evening of the 8th of February 1972. And so began the most surreal 24 hours in the life of the Student Union's social secretary. I was approached by a guy who said, oh, well, I'm with Paul McCartney's new band, Wings, uh, and we're doing a, an impromptu tour, and we're looking for, for places to do gigs. Are you interested? I thought, well, you know, this is too good a chance to miss if it's true. So I said, yeah, of course we're interested. What happens next? Uh, he said, OK, well, you need to come outside and talk to the boss about it. So you've come out of the entrance here. Yeah. And then where's the van? Well, the van was right there. Who oh. should be sitting in the driving seat at Paul McCartney? There he was. What were you thinking at that point? Uh, thank goodness I made the decision <laughs> to come out and talk to him. Otherwise... Uh, it wasn't a have... joke. <laughs> I would have missed a fantastic opportunity. Because of them not wanting any press, there's no recordings of that gig. Did you come away with anything? Well, I brought my McCartney album with me. Do a look. Oh, Paul I love the fact that he signs for her too. He was really including her, wasn't he, at this point? It's just beautiful. Elaine and the band agreed that they'd play the following lunchtime in the Portland Ballroom on the campus. The Wings gig was the hottest ticket in town. Now, chemistry student Dudley George managed to bag himself one, and also Jean Troy, who was studying sociology and was a real Beatles fan. Jean, what are your memories of that lunchtime? Well, my main memory of this was this is absolutely amazing seeing Paul McCartney because um, most girls of my age did like the Beatles, and a lot of us really adored Paul McCartney, so this was amazing. It was a family do. It was very much a family do. I mean, they had the kids here, so it was, it was more like a kind of family day out. Did you feel that you were watching a piece of history in the making? The biggest group in the world had been the Beatles mm. for all our conscious time, so it was, a, it was a historic event. It had to be. What happened here on this spot is pure pop history, and it could be argued that Paul's career with Wings really began on this stage. The lunchtime gig was a big success, and for the next two weeks, they toured 10 university towns across Britain. The university tour was like a bunch of kids being let loose on a trolley or something. You know, you can go anywhere you want, but uh, you have to stop here. Sing a song and on your way. Where are we going? I don't know. 